GM is finally ready to take on Ford in the compact pickup showdown. Maverick hit the gas hard, stealing the spotlight with its bold design and company's out-of-the-box thinking, despite all the criticism. Now other truck makers need to catch up. Toyota Stout is about to roll out, and 2025 Chevy Montana is the GM's ace up the sleeve, ready to carve out a slice of the compact truck pie. This race just got interesting. The all-new Chevy Montana is set to make waves in the compact pickup segment, but the current international version isn't quite ready for the competitive American market just yet. While the existing model uses a 1.2-liter engine, which is great for global markets, it simply won't cut it against US rivals, like the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. Chevy needs to bring more muscle to the table, and fortunately, they have two excellent engine choices in their lineup that could do the trick. The first one is a 1.5-liter turbo 4 which delivers 177 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque. It's a solid middle ground that would give the Montana a significant boost over the current configuration without going overboard. But, the 2.0-liter turbocharged option will be more interesting. This engine churns out 233 ponies and 258 pound-feet of torque, providing the Montana with the extra punch it needs to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the rivals. The international Montana lacks an all-wheel drive system, which is a big miss if the truck wants to compete in the American soil. All-wheel drive is a must for the pickup to stay relevant, especially with the off-road craze taking over the segment. Both the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz offer off-road-focused versions, and Chevy can't afford to fall behind in this realm. GM should also seriously consider offering a manual gearbox. For true enthusiasts, nothing like a manual transmission would give the Montana a distinct edge. One potential downside, however, is the lack of a hybrid option. The Ford Maverick's hybrid setup has proven to be a game-changer, offering exceptional fuel efficiency that appeals to a broad audience. Without such configuration, the Montana could find itself at a disadvantage, especially when it comes to fuel-conscious buyers. While Chevy might not be ready to roll out a hybrid version just yet, it's something they'll need to change if they want the Montana to be a serious contender in the United States. If truck is going to make a splash in the highly competitive market, it needs more than just an engine upgrade. A serious styling overhaul will be required. From the outside to the inside, the Montana needs several key changes. One of the most glaring design flaws is the placement of the license plate. Right now, it's awkwardly centered in the middle of the grille, disrupting the overall flow of the front end. To fix this, Chevy would need to rework the front fascia, moving the license plate lower and out of the grille's way. While this sounds like a simple adjustment, it would require a thoughtful redesign. However, the payoff would be worth it. A cleaner, more streamlined front end would not only enhance the Montana's curb appeal but also give it a tougher, more refined look that American truck buyers expect. Another area for improvement is the bumpers. Even if the truck lacks the sheer size of mid- and full-sized models, larger chrome bumpers can give it that tougher, more imposing appearance. The interior also needs attention if Chevy wants to be a true contender. Right now, the cabin is functional but not particularly comfortable or upscale. Adding more premium materials, improving seat comfort, and integrating a larger infotainment screen would all help elevate the cabin to match the higher standards of the American market. The Chevy Montana is expected to make its US debut in mid-2025, adding some fresh competition to the growing compact pickup market. While the international version comes with a price tag around $25,000, buyers in the United States should expect some variation in pricing. If the Montana were to be imported as is, it would be subject to the infamous chicken tax, which places a hefty tariff on imported light trucks. This would drive the price up significantly, making it less competitive against rivals like the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. While it might seem like a dream scenario to build the Montana in Montana, that's not on the cards. Instead, the pickup will likely be produced in Mexico, alongside the Chevy Equinox, a compact crossover already manufactured in Mexico and the vehicle that will share the unibody architecture with the small truck. Vehicles built there are exempt from the tax, thanks to trade agreements between the two countries. By manufacturing the Montana in Mexico, Chevy can keep costs in check and offer a competitive starting price, likely in the ballpark of $25,000 to $27,000. Still, upgrading it with the higher-end packages will easily push the price above 30 grand, and significantly more if you opt for RS package, or off-road-oriented Z71 and trail boss versions. <laughs>